Hi everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back. Nice to have you. Happy you're here with me. I'm just um, playing with some colors right yet. I was, uh, I had forgotten I wanted to pull out. I wasn't going to use alcohol ink today was my thing. I was just going to use a marker and I need a flesh tone color. And so I was trying to work out what I want to use. How are you all? Happy to have you. We're working again on our stamping A to Z. And I'm at the beginning of the alphabet this week with Born to Shine. And I have used the stamp set a couple of times. Oh, I'm going to get rid of those. I already knocked them over once. I threw a piece of paper and hit the camera cord and made it stop. So thankfully I wasn't very far into this. Um, yeah, so Born to Shine has some really pretty dancer <clears throat> type images and some little stars, cute little sayings. This would be great for a, a teenager-ish, well, not even, I mean, it could be for anybody who likes, I'm, I love ballet, so I was drawn to this stamp set when it first came out. I want to use, um... Petal Pink, which in my opinion has a little bit of an orange tone to it. So when I was looking for a background paper, I wanted something that would look a little dreamy in the background. And I found in some of my old, what was this, Falling in Love? Yep, Falling in Love designer series paper. Had some of these really pretty um, background designs. They have like bokeh dots in it. And that pink in there is Blushing Bride, but <clears throat> because of the muted dots on here, it works out well with the petal pink. I also had a piece of, I have two more pieces of this vellum, I think, cut out that were left over from a card workshop that I had done. This was just some Stampin' Up! vellum, so I'm not sure what pink this was, but again, they kind of all go together. And this has some smoky slate, or no, Sahara sand. Sahara sand and a little bit browner color. I don't know what that brown is. Probably would be good with that. Um, I think they have a new color, pecan pie or something that would be pretty with that. But I want to stick with the pinks a little bit, of course, because it's a ballerina, right? Have a little bit of shadow here sorry i apologize for that there's sunshine coming in one window and it's dark in another window and um i was just trying to keep some light on the on the project for her dress i kind of thought moody mauve might go with that i don't know for sure maybe i should let me consult my color chart here i don't know if they're all on here though I was in petal pink, petal pink, oh, bubble bath, I just got bubble bath. Oh, four weeks, long. but that's downstairs because I'm getting ready for a workshop with the girls. Fresh freesia, hmm, let me see, let me grab that bubble bath and the fresh freesia, I did have that. A moody moth might be just a bit dark. Oh, yeah, I had a, I had to order a couple packs of cardstock. I was running low on. See, I think those are too pink for this though. Yeah, that was why I went more with the mauvey. I'm going to stick with my original plan here. Um, yeah, I had to get some, a couple cardstock colors that I was running low on. And so I was going to add to my inventory here with the uh, Lemon Lolly and Bubble Bath. And don't you know, both of those cardstocks are out. I did get the ink. That Lemon Lolly looks gorgeous. Uh, I have also a piece of Very Vanilla. 
I think white would have been too stark of a contrast with the circles on here, so I went with vanilla. And I'm going to stamp my image in Sahara Sand, since that is one of the colors in the pattern paper. So I hope you're all doing well. If you're new, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. I'm happy you stopped by these. Oh, the ink pads are just really playing havoc with my hands lately. Anyways, I am happy that you stopped by to craft with us a little bit today. And if you are back for more, thanks. Oh, really glad you came back. I'm going to stamp this kind of in the middle because I do intend on die cutting around here to put in the center of that vellum panel that I had. And what I was looking for when I first turned the camera on was uh, ivory alcohol ink marker to color in her skin. I, um, as I said, I was going to not use alcohol inks. I just was going to use either a marker because I do have petal pink marker to do her dress. I thought that might be a little overkill. I wanted some kind of a complimentary color here. Um, but I don't have ivory in a marker, so I think I'll have to use this. I forget what we used last week. We were on, were we at the end of the alphabet? Oh. Yeah, that's right. We did to a wild rose last week. Yeah, so I was opening up my, um, you know what I usually do? I know what I do with this. I usually use my ivory and then my ink lifter and fade it out a little bit. So we'll see how that works on the vanilla cardstock. Um, oh, so when I turned on my camera to get started here, It came up to my, it's kind of like my dashboard or statistics or whatever you want to call it. And I noticed that one of the most popular videos, not that I have a whole lot of popularity out there. I only have a few hundred um, subscribers and I'm grateful for you. I truly am, but I'm nowhere near like those. 20 and 50,000 subscriber people at all. But anyway, one of my, see, that's why I don't like doing alcohol ink. It takes me too long. One of my most popular videos was the pillar pop-up window. And I remember doing, and I don't think I have it anymore. I think I sold that at one of the craft shows. It had little, um, little critters on it breaking leaves. It was cute. So I think I want to do that again and I'm going to make an Easter card. I might do that next week and, and sort of bypass my A to Z thing here so I can get an Easter card done. Because Easter is not far off. These are um, such tiny, tiny images, and then I have the tendency to try to be more accurate when I'm using alcohol ink. <clears throat> and it's harder to see on the camera. I'm just going to use my ivory color here. where my darkest shading would be on her skin. And then I'm using the color lifter to kind of blend it out a little bit. I guess I could leave it 
but I don't like that first line that it leaves there. So the color Lifter works great with the ivory. And I'm pretty good with that. Yes, I do have to put something up there for her hair, don't I? Hmm. Let me think about that. So, I've decided to go with Moody Mauve for her dress. And I'm going to use a blender pen. I thought I had the one stuck out here. That one. So, a blender pen, in case you've never used them, I think they have, um, oh, what's that stuff called? Um... Sorry, I'm looking. I had a bottle of it over here. I forget what the stuff's called that's in here. But you can use this with your ink pad. I just, oh, I guess I should have shown you what I did. I squeezed my ink pad to get a little bit of the ink into the lid because I don't want to put my blender pen, or if you were using a watercolor brush or any other tool, I don't really want to put that right on my ink pad and ruin my ink pad. So by putting a little bit of the ink into the lid, sorry, taking my sweatshirt off, it's getting warm. Um, we could use a water brush here or a blender pen. Ooh, that's dark. Might be too dark. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. once I get it on the card it might be all right glycerin is that the stuff that's in this is that glycerin Actually, I guess it's not bad. It's the other bad thing when I'm doing something like this. I'm really trying to concentrate. Not bad. All right. She's not as bad. I was afraid that was going to be dark. <laughs> so I just want to wipe my blender pen off and get the excess ink off of that. But I have a couple of these, and I do try it, like, the next time I go to use this, I'm going to try to make sure that I select the pen that matches the closest to my ink. And you can leave that ink in the lid so that if you're going to maybe watercolor or something, it's still good. You could still use it. Unless, unless you're picky about that and you don't want to have ink on my finger. Um... 
then you can just wipe it off. So there's that. Oh, her hair. Her hair. What do we use on her hair? Well, I picked out crumb cake two times thinking they were different colors, so I'm guessing crumb cake's going to be her hair color. So, how's, how's the weather where you are? You know, are you like most of the places and getting all four seasons in a day? And there's my little dancer. So, okay, here's our petal pink and our falling in love. Just on our series paper, which this is just four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I leave myself an eighth of an inch border. You can always make a four by five and a quarter inch panel back there if you want a larger margin around your designer series paper. But I wanted to see a little bit of it also behind this vellum panel, which did I mention I had cut that out with um, the contour, the scallop contour dies? Yeah, those were left from, like I said, uh, a workshop that I had from before. Okay, so now I need to find, I want to find the die that will fit around her the best. Because I also want to add some of those stars. I think that one has to be a little bigger. And then, of course, a greeting. Oh, that one will work good. Good. And I left enough. When I pulled this vanilla cardstock out, I was thinking, oh, did I even leave enough to die cut? <laughs> this, this was a smaller, oh, I hope. I might have to move it down just a hair. See, I could have probably cut it just a little bit bigger and it would have been better. Well, you know, we might do, we can do it. Yeah, I think I need to start getting a couple Easter cards done here. But I'm not going to get them done because there's always so many other things going on. That getting back up in my craft room to finish projects is usually hit and miss. Pretty crooked. <laughs> I'm pretty crooked there. Let me see. Get that out there a little bit. And I'm just going to go over and cut this out so that I don't have to move everything off my desk, risking bumping that camera one more time. Oh, good. Two of my neighbors are out there with tractors. I thought it was just one. I don't know if you're able to hear them in the background. When I do a video or not, I do just find it annoying. But it is a nice day, so I guess we need to go ride around on the tractor a little bit. I just think, you know, if they have all that free time, they could come on over here. I got some chores I could use them for. All right. And then, where did, oh, I want the little stars. I don't think I ever used the little stars. Nope, I never did. See, that's why I'm doing this stamping A to Z project, because... These stamps need to be used. Yeah. That's why we get them. We like them. Yeah, 
And I wanted to say you were born to shine. Did I use that one before? Oh, that one's not. No. It didn't. I think it is. You were born. Is it that one? See, there's still a couple on here that I've not used. Well, I do think the dancers are pretty. I like, when I say the simplicity of it, I don't want to make it sound like there is no artist work done there, because there is. But I like that it's a stamp that's simple enough to use that you don't have to worry about too much detail and you're still able to make a pretty card <clears throat> I have a couple and we've not gotten to them yet and one of them was I think it was called garden shed or um, something I love it and there was they're like scenery stamps but they take so much time to um, I put that in all the paper. The color and the images and stuff, I would never be able to do more than one. No, if I need, oh, there they are. If I needed to get them done in a in a reasonable time anyway. Oh, stay away from that cord, good Lord. I don't want to lose my camera again. All right, so let's try. Uh, let's go this way so that if I have a die that will work. Not bad. I guess I didn't need to push it that hard. Better? Better. And then I wanted to put, we'll cut that one out in a minute. I wanted to put some little stars behind her. Oh, I think I've taken all my teeny tiny blocks for our class. Let's see here. Now here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to try, because I was going to use my little silver pen to add to those stars, either gray granite or smoky slate. Let's see which one looks more silvery. That is gray granite. I'm going to go with the smoky slate. And then just use my little silver pen, which is a brush, and add a little bit of, of a dot to those because this is um, 
kind of a shimmer glimmer pen and I actually just found this at the dollar store I was pretty happy about that actually hubby found it it's like hey aren't these like the pens and stuff that you use and since I don't have silver ink I don't have metallic inks anymore This will just give it a little bit of shimmer. Yeah. Cute. Let's get that over there to dry and find out what we're going to. Wow, isn't that just lucky? That fits nice. And this is out of the same contour shape, guys. Scallop contour. Get it right. Scallop contour die. And I'll, I'll list all the names of the stamps and dies in the description box of the video. Along with any measurements, there's really only the two. A cute birthday card. Mm -hmm. I should put my little lady away here so I don't lose her. And what else am I missing? Oh, the stars. Okay. Okay, here we are. Those and these go in the back. And, oh, please don't let me bump my cord. I need, um, oh, I was going to put glue dots behind that, but they're very close to my camera cord. So maybe, maybe I won't use that. Maybe I will use, huh, this is my, my Stampin' Up copyright stamp that I keep up here so that when I go to sell cards, I make sure that I put that on the back of any of the Stampin' Up ones that I make. As long as I remember. You can just add that there. <clears throat> I have uh, on occasion <laughs> caught them and said, oh, I forgot to put my stamps on these. But it's never intentional. So we can add our designer series paper to the petal pink card base. I think those dots are pretty. You know, they kind of look like spotlight lights in the background. And then what I think we're going to do, oh, you know what, let's We'll put this on the vellum. This is my, that was my original one. I had just started when I bumped the camera cord. So we had to start again. We'll put that on here. And we'll lift that up with dimensionals. How's that? I'm surprised Miss Ella hasn't come up here to visit with us. So my door is open, and usually when she hears me chit-chatting away, you know, she wants to be center stage. Don't get me wrong, I'm kind of happy she's not. Only because she could get into too much stuff. Too much trouble. 
not centered on here. And then I'm afraid I am going to have to cover up her Tootsie. Yeah. And. <clears throat> I want that up, but is that going to make it too high? think it will. I think it'll be just fine. So just a couple more little foam dimensionals. I see one little dot there that didn't poke out. And there is Born to Shine. And I am going to make it into a birthday card. I'm sure I have, um, I'm sure I have one in here that, that says to celebrate your special day. Or I think there's one somewhere that says, Um, to make it sparkle. So nothing fancy and extraordinary today. No, no fun full cards or no brush o sprinkles or alcohol ink or <laughs> none of the fun stuff. Just a plain old card. Yeah. I want to see if you're hanging in there with me for a minute. <sighs> Let me see. Maybe a little sparkle. Hmm. Now this is one that I had from, I don't even know, Fun Stamper's Journey. And I only thought of it because it had all the stars. Shiny light. Isn't that pretty? So the other one. Wonder. Where is that wonder one? Well, I don't know. I'll have to find it. I will add my birthday greeting to the inside of that one. And I'm so happy that you stopped by to just use Born to Shine and make a little birthday card with me. Next week, we go back to the end of the alphabet, and it is Thoughts and Prayers. Thoughts and Prayers was a double set, and I don't think that it had a Oh, see? Oh, I did use it. Oh, this is one that the things don't stick. Okay. Yeah, this is a get well one. I have used that a lot. But it's a pretty one. It's a pretty one. So we will do something fun with that. Unless, like I said, unless I do an Easter card and make one of those pop-up pillar cards, those are kind of fun. So until we get back together next week, everyone have a lovely weekend. And rem remember that you were born to shine. See you next week. Bye.